Hey everyone, an exciting video. I've been spending some time with the latest release of DxO's Photo Lab version 9, and I wanted to share what's new in three minutes or less. So I'll share an overview of the new version's AI and workflow features, and I'll even share a feature that I found that I haven't seen mentioned anywhere else, and I'm going to be really curious if any of the other YouTube videos hit on this one. If you're thinking about trying or buying, I've got a 20% off new purchases code in the description, as well as an affiliate link that I'd really appreciate you using. That code's good till the 8th of September. So the biggest headline in version 9 is the new AI masks. So using artificial intelligence to create your precise automatic selections. There's nothing generative here. So I know this is a common feature in 2025, but at least DxO has done it really well, and it is absolutely a huge time saver. You can quickly add or subtract parts of an image. You can select from subject categories like sky, people, faces, all from a predefined list. And the subject selections can even be part of presets if you want to go that route. To me, the best part of this is that you can combine the new AI masks with the U-Point selections. I've been using U-Point for almost 20 years, I think, and I still believe they're among the most powerful, the fastest, and most natural looking selections you can do. So the ability to mix and match them with AI masks is something I have been waiting for, and it is a fantastic addition. Thank you, DxO. So up next, we got Deep Prime XD3 X-Trans is out of beta, so yay for the Fuji users. Just like the latest Pure Raw Photo Lab 9 now allows you to apply deep prime noise reduction and lens sharpness optimization as local adjustments, so you can get in and fine tune how they're represented in different parts of your image. On the workflow side, we've got the new batch renaming tool, which is super powerful and it's a great addition. You can rename the files you're working with, or, or you can use the same features as you're doing your export, so that's really cool. Uh, we got new photo management features like image stacking to group similar photos together. And you can mark projects and folders as favorites now so you can get to them quicker. And the project list could now also show up in the customize tab. And to be honest, I never noticed that it couldn't in the past, even though I do actually use projects quite frequently, but I don't jump between them. So it never really came up for me. So listen, no software is perfect. We all have different things we like. What I can say with confidence is that it is an excellent update, hopefully a sign of more great things to come from DxO. And as a software, it is, in my opinion, the nicest one to use. And that's for many, many hours. We're talking hundreds spent with competitors since 2004 when I got my D70. I always say find the software you love to use and use that to the best of your ability. There's no magic pill out there. Nothing's going to make you a better editor other than time and feedback. So get out there, spend the time, get some feedback and have fun. Oh, and that feature that I promised up front. So in the settings now, um, if you have a powerful computer, you can turn on real time deep prime rendering. So historically, if you um, put on noise reduction in Photolab, you would only actually see the results of standard on your screen just because it was so, so much to process. Um, but now if you turn this on in preferences, you can see the results straight away. But keep in mind that it is very processor heavy, so you're going to need a grunty computer. Uh, I've got a RTX 5070, and that is absolutely fine. So that's it. That's my three minute, I hope, overview of what's new in Photolab 9. Should you buy it? Try it. Ultimately, it comes down to, is it a fit for you? So I'm going to do a few videos with examples of working with AI masks and other local selections. So watch out for those. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll talk again soon.